Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on um, how to change the user interface in Blender. You can have, there's a lot of different ways you can do it, both in 2.5 and 2.49. Um, the way you do it in 2.49 is right clicking on this little black bar here. Right click split area. You can use this for all sorts of things. Action editor and then um, let's say timeline. I'm just going to make a quick animation. I, location, move ahead a couple frames. Move it. I location and then you got a little timeline you can move between um, that's for like animation there's a bunch of different settings you can do and to be able to join get rid of this little thing you'd have to get right click join areas down and then right click join areas over and that's how to do it in 2.49 uh, 2.5 it took me yeah, forever to figure it out but once I got it it was really cool um, they have a bunch of little neat features already set up um, it's a lot better user interface if you have any questions on where buttons are, please message me. Um, so, start out with, there's a little, if you press T, you get a little bar over here that has a bunch of um, object tools that you can use. So, the way you actually split the screen in this one is there's this little rigid thing over here. Click and drag, and you get another bar, and you can click again and get a, another one. And it took me forever, again, to figure out how to delete them. So, it's just like the old one, kind of like merging. So, you'd merge up and then merge over and then they got this handy dandy little setting if I press N it'll give me a transformations uh, toolbar and under display it'll give you a bunch of different display options like what I'm only gonna render and that's not relevant to this but whatever so toggle quad view this one's really cool um, when you're in this view you can't rotate anything and this is used for uh, modeling front um, front, top, right, and camera perspectives. Uh, they didn't have that in 2.49 and I was looking for it. This is really cool. Um, so, and I, one thing I forgot to do at the beginning, there's a bunch of preset things up here. Under the default there's animation and if you press control or command over, if you're on a Mac, control over, number pad, or excuse me, arrow number, oh, whatever. And just keep scrolling. You've got a different, bunch of different things like this one's the Python script, and this one's compositing, animation. Yeah, a bunch of different options, but they both have it. 2.49 and 2.5. 2.49 is still in beta, so whatever. So thanks for watching. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Yeah.